My name is Dr. Nicholas Kahn. I'm a neurosurgeon based at the Mount Elizabeth Hospital in Singapore. So a brain tumour is an abnormal, uncontrolled growth of cells within the brain tissue. They are usually classified into either primary or secondary. The primary brain tumours are tumours that arise directly from cells within the, the brain and secondary types are the ones that are spread from elsewhere uh, in the body. The primary ones can either be a more benign type, so a low-grade tumour, or a high-grade tumour, which is a more cancerous type of brain tumours. And these latter ones are the more dangerous types. So there's no real established cause of brain tumours. Most of them arise uh, by themselves. The kind of known factors for brain tumours are usually related to um, a family history. These are quite rare, so maybe less than 5% of uh, brain tumours are uh, inherited. Other types are uh, the gender of the patient, so if the patient is a female patient, certain type of brain cancers, such as meningiomas, are more common. Other risks that are known to cause brain cancers include radiation therapy, especially if given uh, very young, or some exposure to industrial chemicals or solvents. So the most important thing in a, in a, if a situation is an emergency is that the patient will present with signs of a headache, especially if the headache is persistent and associated with uh, vomiting. So this is a very key uh, emergency sign. Other signs that patients with tumour can present with uh, include some form of stroke-like symptoms. For example, their arms or legs may be weak, they may have difficulty walking, or they may have difficulty with speech or with their thinking. Other signs could be uh, things like epilepsy, uh, seizures uh, is another sign of brain tumour. So these are the three main types of symptoms that patients with brain tumour may exhibit. So usually the main treatment for brain tumour is surgery. The type of surgery the patient requires really depends very much on certain characteristics of the tumour. So it depends on the size, the location uh, of the tumour, and whether or not it's close or far away from very important parts of the brain that controls movement or speech. So if the tumour is close to an important part of the brain, for example controlling speech or movement, then um, we will have to do special techniques to remove them, such as uh, having the patient do the surgery uh, awake, so an awake craniotomy. For those tumours that are deep-seated, then there are new techniques that we can use, such as uh, a minimally invasive approach called the brain path approach that can be used to remove those tumours. For those patients whose health prevents them from having a, uh, a surgical removal of the tumour, then we will recommend them having a biopsy, uh, which is a less invasive procedure. And based on the biopsy results, um, we can then decide whether or not the patient will need additional chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So the brain path technique is a very new uh, surgical technique. So it relies on several uh, key factors. The first is using very advanced imaging so we can see the brain structure better. Secondly, you opening the skull in a much more smaller fashion, so a minimally invasive opening of the skull, meaning keyhole approach. And while, after the skull is uh, open, the next step is to use the natural corridors of the brain. So the brain has these folds, and essentially, by inserting the brain path tube into the fold, it's possible to reach deep-seated tumour going parallel to the fibres and remove the tumour deep inside the brain using um, special uh, instruments. And because everything is smaller and it's much more um, natural way of approaching the surgical process, um, the recovery of the patient and their, is much faster and much better. So my advice would depend on the severity uh, of the condition. So this is the first thing we will assess. If a tumour is more benign in nature, then what I will suggest is that we can treat first with medication. For example, if there's brain swelling, we can treat that. If there's seizures, we can treat all of these with medication first. For patients with more serious brain tumours, then I would suggest that you get in touch with us and we'll try to help, for example, through a video consultation.